G'day everyone, welcome to this next floss tube video. Um, this will be a short and sweet video for me, I'm a bit poorly today. Um, I've got a cough lolly in my mouth so I don't cough my guts up while I'm trying to do this video. Um, uh, welcome to everyone, uh, new or old, and uh, I'm just going to get straight into it, I think, just keep it short and sweet. I've got no haul. Um, I still haven't received part two of Farmhouse Christmas and I don't get a shipping notice. I have no idea where it was sent. What I have done is um, extract myself from the auto ship program. I'm not going to continue with that. I, I cut ties last week. So we only get posted here three days a week where I live. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. If part two hasn't arrived by Saturday, I will go ahead and order it from 123 Stitch along with part 3. So I'll give it these next three mailings. It's coming with another little house needleworks chart. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to go through the kerfuffle of trying to chase it up. Uh, lesson learnt. Um, it's, you know, it's a little bit of money lost, but it could be worse. It's not lots of charts and it's not lots of money. So um, hopefully between these next three delivery days it will turn up and if not um, as I say I'll place an order. I apologise also for the lighting today I've actually put the overhead light on as well it's becoming overcast here we're about to get some rain um, and I suddenly thought I'd better get on and get this done before it gets too dark and gloomy. On the screen it already looks quite dark so I'm not sure how that will translate. Okay two projects to show you um, I'm back again at the beginning of my rotation. Last week I was just starting project two and then later in the week I was starting project three again. So, uh, sorry. Um, project two is the village of Hawkrun Hollow and I am, I will only show you that because that's all I'm up to, the first block here. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. Last week I had completely outlined and filled in the snake, which is that little that yellow line you can see above my finger there. Um, I had that first plant done, sorry I'm shaking a bit, and some of the grass and stream. I have managed to get the second plant done and bring the grass and the stream further along to fully enclose the snake now. So there's not a lot left. Um, there's a few fish and it's really grass and the stream and some back stitching now. Oh, there's a few. I think those are back stitching though, those plants there. Um, so hopefully this, the next time this comes up in the rotation I should be able to get block one finished. So, so we got a bit further along, but we didn't. I didn't get as much done as I like. I've really stitching has really slowed down. I'm kind of hoping now that baseball season has started and we get to watch it here, or some of the games here anyway. Um, I can at least stitch a bit more when I watch the games. Project three is Harvest Keeper. And I think when I showed it to you last, I had done this first quarter, including the full V skip here. I also had problems. Um, somewhere along here, and I can't figure it out now, it's probably easy just to show you on the piece. I discovered that somewhere in here, the it's meant to line up the leaf and the and the um, one of the elements on the vine is meant to line up and I discovered I was two stitches out so I've been trying to figure out how I solve this problem and then I realized that probably what I need to do is the complete vine and see if the pro problem is in the vine or in the tree so that's what I started Today is day four, so Friday and Saturday I worked on the vine, and I have done the vine, sort of. Everything was going hunky dory until we get down here. 
and it turns out I'm now five stitches out. I don't know where I've gone wrong. I thought I was following it pretty good actually. So I basically put the project into timeout. I didn't stitch on it yesterday and I haven't stitched on it today. Let me just fold it in half here. So I'm trying to figure out now what I do here, whether I modify this corner, because if you look, there's a, st a, a blank stitch between the straight lines here, and that's what's meant to happen down here. And where my needle is, is where the straight line is, so you can see the gap. Whether I modify this here, take out a bit of this and modify a bit of that and bring it, whether I just stitch the inside now and see what happens I just I don't know I actually just about no not quite have enough to do it again but I really don't think I want to do it again and I really don't want to be pulling it all out so I've got to fudge it somehow how would you fudge it what would you do so again if I'm asking for help <laughs> I have ended up with five stitches between these two rows. This is where the needle is, is where a straight line is meant to be. And that should only be one line. So I've got four, I'm four stitches out now. How would you rectify that? Because it is fairly much symmetry looking at it. So I just don't know where I've gone wrong where I've put in a stitch or two too many or look I've just found I have just found one one problem I've just seen it um, okay let's see if I can show you it's a bit dark and I probably can't even see it on the screen now um, uh, the bottom here the next line up should be two stitches if you notice below this top line there are two stitches there two stitches there two stitches there there should be two stitches there and I've missed that that's not too far to pull back to I could maybe frog that and redo that but that's still only finding me one stitch I've got four to find I don't know what would you do if this was you would you now complete the center leave that corner complete the center and see by the time it's all busy in here and you frog you you fudge this corner how noticeable it is would you take it back to where you've just found the mistake and start again but that's still going to leave you three stitches out I'd love to hear your thoughts so this piece is in time out and I'm not going to give it any free days until it comes up in the rotation again and hopefully by then I'll have got some ideas um, and I'll have thought about what I'm doing I hope this is the only piece I have problems with because if I start having problems with all the pieces I think I'm going to lose the plot and I'm going to give it up <laughs> right I'm gonna go before I start coughing again uh, short and sweet as I say um, tomorrow I start project four I think is the garden club series excuse me cough lolly um, and I'm hopefully will get block two finished of that so uh, and then, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, excuse me, talking too much. Um, Saturday and Sunday, the free slots start, uh, and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do in those. Um, I made, as I think I said before the last free, free slot, I would do the border for block two of Farmhouse Christmas. I'll make a call on that on Saturday once the post has been because I'll know by then whether or not part two is ever going to turn up for me. Um, so uh, that's where we're at. Not a lot. 
anyway hopefully next week there'll be a few more projects because I've got the two free days where I can do any of the projects I want um, we'll see okay I hope you all have a good week I hope you've had a good Easter and the Easter Bunny was kind to you if you believe in that um, and I will catch you next week take care everyone bye bye <laughs>